if you want to build your own interchange so you can use and reuse it in your city or across multiple cities that is a way to do that and today we are going through the stages of creating your own highway interchange or any type of building that you can use as an interchange in city skylines and the way you can do it is using the editors option here in city skylines uh, menu so clicking in here you have a few options and this is all you can uh, use to edit your own maps for example your team your assets and your scenario in this case we are using asset editor and we are creating a new one so we are not changing a uh, world that's existent the next part is to actually select the team that will be built in into that asset and if you have like left-hand traffic or not uh, you can use like user teams if it's something uh, that you have downloaded from the workshop so for us here i'll leave this on the standard and just like temperate left hand traffic because that's what i use and we select now the game will load all the assets and uh, the editor so i'll be back when it's all loaded after the editor finished loading you see this option where you can select the type of asset you want to create you have a few options here, you have road, you have citizen, you have vehicle, tree, prop, building, park, and the one that we are looking at today is the intersection. Select it and press continue and this will load the editor. After the editor loads, you have a blank state here to start drawing your intersection. So this is where you will build the new intersection that you want in the game. And the way you do this is basically the same as you would do in game. So you probably will select the roads option and then you will start laying down some roads. As you can see, the game will let you know if these roads are part of one specific um, expansion or DLC or, or not, if they are just in the vanilla game and you can pick any rope that you want you can even select something that you had before for example if we use this one as a start point we can get that down and then start doing chains of our own like for example let's see let's say i use this uh clover leaf interchange all the time and i'm annoyed that we can actually have the, the lane mathematics correctly set up here so what we'll do as you can see this option is there at the corner i will just update that if i select the right one there we go just so we can have lane mathematics in this area so we should have that there as well we should have probably there yep and then we have three, one out, one in, another one. So I'm wrong here. This comes in, we have three, and then we go down to two and then back to three. Same here, three, and then we go to two, and then we go to three. Just learning about lane mathematics while we do this. <laughs> and then we go back to two and back to three because we have another one coming in there. This will just make everyone life easier if you have all this set up and you don't have to do it every single time that you you play the game so for example here the same thing two add one more three go one out two one more three and we do the same on the other side so this is how oops i select the wrong one there there we go this is how the game should actually look we can remove the grid here so we can see a little bit better and there you go let's say this is exactly how i want it uh, you could even add some trees for example just so it's not like 
really plain and you have some uh, nice features in here. And as you can see, you have a limit, uh, a limit that you can put down props in trees. So 64 is that number and you can do it until you reach that limit basically. So I'm just adding a few more here so it looks good. There you go. And I think maybe just a couple more in there. And I'm happy with this. Or let's say I'm happy. I'm obviously, probably it doesn't make much sense doing just this. But there you go. You, you've done this. Then the next step is for you to save your asset. And then you see this. Uh, screen. So let's give our asset a name and that'll be called Clover Math. That's what I called it. If you have a description, you can add some in here and you can add a tooltip image. So, for example, we have a clover leaf, so let's use this one and which is basically a uh, picture from the one that we built. And for the thumbnail icon, you can use the same or you can use a standard one. Let's use the same. And then we just press save. And then you just wait the game to save it and you are done. You'll be able to use this new asset in any of your cities. Now that you are back at your menu screen, uh, you just have to keep one thing in mind. Actually, when you save a new asset, you can get the decorator achievement, just like a curiosity in there. And sometimes when you do edit your own uh, interchange or asset or whatever it is that you are doing, you want to actually publish that in the Steam Workshop. And the way you do it, you have to go into your content manager, go into assets or maps or depending on what you created and you can find your asset in here. So search for what you created. As you can see, this is the asset that we created. You can just press share on Steam Workshop and then you just fill out all this information, so workshop title, description, and the notes, and you press publish, and then you'll be publishing it in your Steam workshop, and you can share with your friends and with the City Skylines community. So I hope you enjoy this quick tutorial on how to make your own um, custom interchange, highway interchange, custom junction or any assets that you need for city skylights. Let me know in the comments if you have questions about that or if you want to know something else and I'll try to help you out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!